hello guys welcome once again to our humble channel so today we're going to be diving about or well, talking about the real house of atlanta and all the drama and the beef that's been going on right now so we know that Nini had an interview with Carlos where she literally called out Nini. Sorry, she called out Candy and called Candy boring. And like the show should do without Candy. Candy should be removed from the cast of the Real House of Atlanta. Now, Candy had an interview with Entertainment Weekly, ET, and she had a lot of things to say about the cast, the show going forward, the reunion. Let me just play a snippet of the thing she said on the interview then we'll come and talk about the points that she said on the show on the interview everybody was coming at me okay what did you see it was a kiss but don't tell me i kissed this girl i didn't kiss this girl i even videotaped it is there any resolution for you and drew at reunion I feel like it got worse at the reunion. But what I think what she didn't know, she does not understand that. For me, I don't really care about it. They kiss or not, but you're not gonna call me a liar, honey, and you're not gonna say that I made up stuff about you because I do not make up stuff about anybody. You know what I mean? So I think that's what really made me more angry and furious. And, and I'm gonna keep dropping receipts. <laughs> with a well-known basketball player. That's what the streets are saying. I felt like from the time we started until it ended, it was everything. Mm -hmm. How much is this Drew divorce saga going to surprise the viewers? For some people who don't really read social media and have not really heard some of the rumor mill, then yeah, I guess they would be some super surprised. A piece of evidence was brought out at the reunion that might be the shadiest thing that's ever been brought out. Do you oh, agree with wait, that? Absolutely. I don't want to give away too much. But, I mean, it wasn't necessarily what I would call a receipt. Like, not like, oh, Candy did something and here's a receipt to show. It was more so like a diss. There is a lot of talk. It's time for a shake-up. Where does this group go from here? Atlanta is different. I don't feel like you can do the same thing with Atlanta that you did with New York. Just totally drop everybody and start all over. But I feel that, yes, of course you can add some new people. What would your dream cast for season 16 look like? I definitely would add back Portia. I would. Um, if there was any world where me could be added back, I would add her back just simply because she would have so much to say about us. Do you think Candy's overrated and overpaid? I do. I think that Candy is not exciting. I don't think the camera loves her. What was your reaction when you saw the comments Candy made? I'm like, for anybody that feels that way about me, I really do not care. I am the longest running housewife of any franchise, so you may not think that I'm good television, but somebody does. Have you thought about how much longer to do it? Whenever the time comes. So she. So she had those things to say. So we're just going to be talking about some of the key points of the things she said. Firstly, she said, um, would like to see Portia. When they asked who she would like to see, she said, would like to see Portia and Nini return next season, especially Nini, since she has so much to say about hashtag we House of Atlanta. Me specifically, I would love to see Portia back. I would love to see Nini back. I would love to see some of the old cast back because truthfully, this season was not given. This season did not give what it was supposed to give. It was boring. Some of the episodes we were just like, I think some of the episodes we some of us slept through us slept through the episode because they were boring. And truthfully, let's be truthful. Candy did not really give anything in this episode in this season. She didn't get I I I I kind of start thinking what is it was a storyline in this season i literally do not know she did not give anything literally in this season and she also talked about the fact that don't think a real sort of new york reboot would be would work in atlanta are you sure 
think it would work because if this cast that is here are not doing it for people people are finding the show boring people don't really find the show entertaining like we used to when we hear about reals of atlanta we all want to watch the show but right now it's not what is it's not doing what it's supposed to do for most of us so i feel like i think i do think in my own opinion that a real of new york should be done on real a reboot is supposed to be do, done sorry a reboot is supposed to be done on real of atlanta then she said at the reunion everybody was coming for her and that there is no resolution between her and drew so we'd get to find out probably they'll have more clash between her and drew because she was staying steadfast on the fact that she believed that drew was lying and that everybody's coming for her on the sh on the reunion you know most times of, most of them want to use candy to you know push their agenda or push their you know their popularity i i would not say about that until i until i do watch the reunion and see what exactly candy was being dragged for but the truth is that i feel like we also of atlanta needs a reboot or a replacement a perfect replacement of some of the cast because some of them are no longer giving what they're supposed to give and truthfully he also needs to leave the show because or if she's to be on the show they should bring someone to challenge her and that is where we will see people like kimmy um, of like um Portia, people like um nini people like kim would love to see them back now moving forward to um we also had courtney in an interview talking the, about the facts uh, talking about kenya and the, this you know the last episode she talked about karma for kenya falling down and she kind of put more into it and made some kind of insinuations let me play what she had to say on the interview and we will come back and talk about the points I want to pick from that interview she had. Obviously, the fall, um, and obviously, I talked about the karma. I think you saw no one rushed up to run to check on her, and I think that speaks volumes to how she is behaving and how people genuinely feel about her. But it's still a show, and so she's got to have friends and so then you see some you know you see some support later so do you think if someone else fell they would people Abs would have rushed absolutely i would have for sure absolutely right like if your friends fall and you're not sure it was also obvious that kenya was okay because what you didn't see was she was cursing production out so it was clear she was okay and she had like this little bounce and she was clearly more embarrassed than hurt and you know before that conversation i knew that she was okay but yeah well, once you become too difficult to work with your co-stars and production, I mean, eventually, it doesn't matter who you are, it is The time. way she speaks to production, it just makes me uncomfortable. Like, again, in Alabama on that trip, the lighting wasn't bright enough for her, and she just tore into this young lady on production, and I just was mortified, and I apologize. I'm like, you know what? Courtney, I am so sorry. Like, that was so inappropriate, and that's not right. And I just don't like that. Like, that shit is not cool. Like, you are not above anybody, and it's not cool. And then, like, when that happens, like, I mean, is everyone, like, Candy, Marlo, sure, like, okay, this is Kenya, like, this you know, is how it goes. I, I don't know, because I wasn't really paying attention to everybody's reaction, right. but for me personally, I was like, mm, we don't, we, I mean, my friends just don't do that. You don't treat people. So she had a lot of things to say about Candy and about the fact that Candy is a mean girl and the way she saw Candy be mean, that she has never had a kind, that kind of experience all through her life, that she, she said, sorry, I said Candy, sorry, Kenya. She said Kenya is also mean to the, the, the people or the staff that is, you know, shooting the show with them, the producers and everybody. And that's why nobody helped her during her fall. These are the key points said, I think you saw no one rushed up to check on her. And I think that speaks volumes to how people genuinely feel about you. Hashtag the way housewife of Lantern. 
for that part i might feel like i feel like probably the producers didn't want anybody seeing maybe anybody helped her but she Courtney said that it felt like it was an embarrassing moment for kenya and kenya was not really that hot she was not really that in pain she was just mortified she was just embarrassed by having to fall like that so because even i myself when the episode aired when she fell down and she had to take her to the hospital i kept on telling myself i kept asking myself i was the thing of taking her to the hospital but i i was like somebody i think when we had the panel about it someone said probably because she's aged and sometimes falling on that kind of concrete could cause some kind of damage i was like okay i understood but who are we going to believe? Are we going to believe Courtney? Are we going to believe Kenya? Courtney is calling out Kenya as being a mean and and she's also a bully. And if we look at the show and look at how Courtney describes Kenya, I, I know Kenya as truthfully a little bit mean. She's a little bit mean. But is she to the extreme or the extent that Courtney is saying she is? That I don't know because I'm not on the cast. I'm not on the crew. So I can't say for that. But I just can't wait for the reunion. I guess, you know, you know, we get to hear a lot of things and see a lot of things during the reunion. So I literally can't wait for the reunion to see what exactly is happening and what is the truth of the matter because nobody's going to be able to lie on each other's face when they're looking at themselves. And from there, you can deduct the truth and the lie also. So I can't literally wait for the reunion because truthfully, the season is not really giving me what I expected the season to give me. Well, guys, this is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Don't forget to click on the subscription button down below to subscribe.